You know, for one Valley family, they have some huge cleanup to do. This tree was knocked over by high winds and fell on their house with the family inside. Erica Flores talked to the kids about their scary experience. The Aventano family says this tree has been in their front yard for over 15 years. It is a mess. It broke kind of like the roof. Oh my God. But when today's high winds gusts hit the valley, it went crashing down. This is the damage what the tree did after that happened. We went outside and came back, and this is all what it did. Nine year old George Avendano says he was in this room when it happened. I was playing my iPad. The wind blowed and, um, and it falls down, and it, got, and it covered my ears, and it just ran right over there. His cousin Haley Luna and grandmother in another room. It felt like a little bit of shaky. I felt like the house like did a noise, and then. And then I told my grandma to wake up, and then I and then I told her to wake up, and then we were scared that night. And they didn't know what happened until they looked outside. I thought we have an earthquake here. <laughs> Got scared. They saw in the window, and then we saw the tree fell down. That's when seven-year-old Haley called mom. My mom, the tree is on top of our house. What are we gonna do? Was uh, it scary? Yes. Melin Luna says she was at work when she got that call. So that scared me. I had to come, come in right away. And once she saw everyone was okay, we so check all rooms if they have damage. That was Erica Flores reporting. The insurance company is expected to be out on Monday to survey the damage. It was a scary thing to happen, especially for the kids, but the family says they're just glad no one was hurt. And with those wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour, trees were down all over the valley, including one. That fell onto a moving car in West Phoenix. This was the scene after a huge tree fell at 35th Avenue in Dunlap as Luis Nunez was driving his car. He'd only had for a week. He says all of a sudden he was surrounded by pine needles. His windshield was smashed and his tire blew, but he was okay. It just scared me for a while and I was just shaking for a few seconds, you know, maybe a half a minute, and then I stopped. Then the road construction fellas knocked on my window and asked me if I was okay, and everything was fine. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm just. In fact, he has no idea how he will get home to New Mexico. He was just in town visiting his daughter for her birthday. Now, several other trees fell around the valley, too, but no damage from them. Weather was blamed for thousands being without power today, but SRP has restored electricity to nearly all those who were affected. I can't complain about that. Instead of getting beat by the heat, I'm getting hit by the rain. <laughs> there you go. It wasn't just wind that hit the valley. Rain did too. Wet roads could be seen in Goodyear and parts of the East Valley as well. They had some folks that had some folks heading to the auto parts store to replace their windshield wipers.